sing the Holy Ghost to magnify your love, your grace and mercy in this place and wherever this is seen or heard. Oh, help us, we pray. In Jesus' name. It was in central Florida. A city that had a church that kept it her doors open. 24 7 24 hours a day seven days a week where if anyone that wanted to just go in and pray read the scriptures or just meditate the welcome mat was out so in this city there was a town drunk by the name of Jim. Oh, he would go on the corner every day, get a little hustle, go out and make a few dollars, come back to the corner. And he, would buy a bottle of wine. Sometime he'd go to the store. And again, he would send another runner and he would go. They'd come back and they would drink together. They were having communion in their own way. But you know, they drank that the same bottle. They loved each other. But on the way home to the room that they had in a rooming house, he had to pass this church. And he would stagger in the church he would always stop by this church, drink until he would get himself full, all that he could hold, and he would stagger home. But if he would, he would stagger into this church and make his way down to the altar. He would stand there, eyes all red, eyes matted, tears running down his cheek. And he would say something like this. Jesus, this is Jim. Jesus, this is Jim. He stayed there, just real and rock. Look up. Sometime for an hour of time. And he'd finally stagger out the door, make his way home. And this went on day after day, night after night. Sometimes, the pastor would be in his study. The door would be cracked. And he'd see Jim at the altar. There he stands, looking up. Tears running down his cheeks. And he'd hear him say, Jesus! This is Jim. Jesus. This is Jim. 
So one morning, as the pastor was looking at the news and at the bulletin news flash, said, town drunk, ran over by a car last night. He's in the hospital. He answered by the name of Jim. He's in critical condition. The pastor rushed down to the hospital. And as he was approaching the emergency room, the doctor met him at the door, shaking his head. So, pastor, We've done all that we can do. He won't make it. He's busted all up inside. He said, can I see him? So oh, yes, please go ahead. He walks in the room. There Jim. Tubes up his nose. Needle in his arm. Jim recognized him. Oh, you pastor. He said, Jim, I, I rushed down. I just heard. Said, can I do anything for you? What can I do? So you can pray for me, pastor. He said, but pastor, let me tell you something. He said, early this morning, I felt a little bump on the bed. I saw a face, but I couldn't make it out. And I heard a voice that said to me, Jim, this is Jesus. <laughs> And I confess my sins to him. And he, he told me that he had forgiven me. And Pastor, you know, I feel all right. Now you can go ahead and pray. The pastor tears in his eyes and he was praying tears in his voice when he finished Jim said thank you pastor I'll see you soon pastor walked out of that hospital less than an hour Jim had passed he had died, John. So now they're wondering, what are we going to do with Jim? Just take him to the cemetery? And the pastor told the funeral home, said, we're going to have a, a church funeral for Jim. They found it out in the day of the funeral. The church was so crowded you couldn't get in. People all on the outside. They wanted to hear what the, this preacher was going to say about the town drunk Jim. They gathered. And the pastor said, You know, although Jim here that's in front of me, never had his name on the roll of this church. But he has his name on the roll in the books of heaven. Jim would drink every day, but he'd come to church every night. And all he said was just Four words. 
Jesus, this is Jim. But you know it's not how much you say, but it's what's in what you say. So he told him the story about Jim. And he said that Jim was faithful. Although he was a drunk, but Jesus saved him. Now think about us. Now think about he was saying that in the four words, when he said, Jesus, this is Jim, he was saying, Lord, I'm so weak. Jesus, this is Jim. Lord, I can't make it by myself. Jesus, this is Jim. Lord, I need your help. Jesus, this is Jim. Oh, forgive me, Lord. Now, maybe you need something from the Lord. And all you got to do is say, Jesus, this is Mary. Jesus, this is John. Why don't you just come to the altar? We're getting ready to pray. If you want to say, Lord, remember me, just hold up your hand. Just hold up your hand. Oh, look at it, Jesus. So many saying, remember me all over the room, all over the room. Saying, remember me. Oh, 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 he's remembering you. That's why this meeting is here tonight. He, he has remembered you. Oh, yes. Our Father in heaven, keep humming quiet. Keep humming quiet. Oh, yes, Lord. Here we are, Lord. Jesus, this is us. Jesus, you know us. Jesus, you know what we need. Jesus, you came because there was a need. Oh, Lord, we didn't want you. But it was a need and you came anyway. Thank you, Lord. You know all of our sins and Lord, we come asking you, Lord. We're just like Jim. But Lord, we ask you to let your blood fall on us. Cleanse us tonight. Wherever there's a seed of hurt, cleanse tonight. Cleanse wherever, whenever. Oh, Lord, do it here, Lord, in this room. Bless every home. Bring homes back together. Oh, Lord, fix it, Jesus. Tonight, fix it. Whatever our problems are, fix it. Lord, we pray for our cities, our state. Wherever we from our neighborhoods, we pray, Lord, for Jackson. We pray for our mayor, Mayor Harvey Jackson. We pray, Lord, for the police, the firemen, everybody that watches over us tonight. Help the Holy Ghost, help the angels watch over us. Oh Lord, bless our city. Make it a bold city for Jesus. Oh, do it, Lord. Bless our state. Bless our churches. Bless our pastors. Bless every office and every member of every church. Bless those, Lord, that don't have a church, don't go to church. Lord, and help us to seek those that's in out of way places. Somebody sick, Lord, touch with your healing hand. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless. And may we never remain the same after tonight. And when it's all over, when we've done what you've assigned our hands to do, get us from our house to your house. In Jesus' name we pray. Why don't you just hug somebody next to you? Hug him and tell him it's going to be all right. 